Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Paolo Vantaggiato and today I will show you something unique for our sector, a technology that is not so much used yet but that for me is very useful. As you know, I collaborate with several companies in the dental industry for everything correlated with digital dentistry. Recently, I had contacts with a company called Thung 3 d This company has been founded in 2008. They are based in Beijing and specialize in 3D scanners. What I love about this technology is that we can use it to scan anything we want, man or object. Therefore, this technology can be used in many fields, from jewelry to sculpture to the automotive sector up to the medical biomedical sector. For this reason, they asked me to test this scanner in order to understand how it can be used in the dental field. I'm using it since February, so it's not so much, but I have to say that I immediately had an excellent feeling with this technology. Well, so let's see how it works. Let's get started. Okay, so we can start with our intraoral scanner, taking the digital impression, starting with the lower jaw and then with the upper jaw scan, and then with our bite scan. This is very important. Uh, we can start with one side and then on the other side. And we need to check that the bite is taken properly. Okay, this is the core of our video. This is our facial scanner. This is the acquisition. And we see the crucial part is our vertical line. If it is blue, it's because we are too far away. If it is red, it's because we are too close. Uh, we need to stay, we need to obtain a yellow or green color. Here I'm cleaning the image before generate the file, removing the part in order to I don't want to obtain a, a file that is too heavy. We need to stay to maintain the same distance from the patient, trying to avoid to move too fast. More or less, we can take 10, 15 seconds to take the image and 20 seconds to process the image. Here we are in the CAD software. We can use ExoCAD, InLab, or in this case, we are, we are using tree shape dental system. So what I do is I match the facial scan with the intraoral scan with three points alignment. Then we are aligning in order to obtain a unique file that we can choose also to export now from dental system in DCM format. This is my second case. This is a provisional that I do thanks also to my facial scanner. This is my third case. In this case, I had the prepared teeth of the patient and the provisional of the patient, the actual provisional of the patient that was already matched. Here I import also the facial scan and thanks to this facial scan, I can have something more in order to design a second provisional or the final manufact. Okay, here I'm modeling. So I speed up the video in order to, I don't want to make you lose time. Perfect. And this is the final result. And this is my final case. The fourth case, this is the most, this is a little bit, this is a little bit complicated because this is, I scanned the actual situation of the patient and then I received, uh, thanks to my dental technician, um, two mock-up of the upper jaw and of the lower jaw. And here, what I do is I match the mock-up with the actual situation of the patient and then I put everything in the facial scan in order to obtain um, like, like a 3D smile design. And here I'm using the virtual articulator. So I think that uh, this is a very useful technology. Uh, we will have, I think, a, a big, a huge growth in the future and a huge development, like it has been for uh, computer dental eyebed surgery. So we start with a technology that was something, you know, 
for early adopters and now it's something very affordable and predictable. Okay, I hope everything is clear. If you have any questions or curiosity about the scanner, just send me a message and I will answer you as soon as possible. See you soon. Have a good day.